that. Now, my next guest was brought up in Dublin, but now lives in County Cork. She's a best-selling author and newspaper columnist and has a considerable fan base, not just in this country, but also in the UK, where the BBC describe her as an Irish cooking queen, not least perhaps because she married into a family synonymous with cookery. So would you welcome, please, Rachel Allen and her husband and business partner, Isaac. Well, you brought your fellow with you. Yeah, I do. That's a good idea. I let him out. You let him out. <laughs> the cage. Go on, Isaac. Come. Get welcome, free. Isaac. Thank you. Well, it's nice to see to see you both here together for a change. It's lovely to be here. Ordinarily, we talk. A scarlet lily. Yes. Is, the latest edition. Yes. How old is she now? Nearly two. Oh, she nearly two. Okay. Nearly that's... two, but ruling the house. Yeah, because she joins the two boys, who are what age now? Eleven and eight. Eleven and eight. And nearly two. Okay, so there's yeah. a nice gap there before she, before she <laughs> nice arrived. Big gap. Nice big gap. And it, oh, she's teeny tiny there. It, do you find, you know, they, you know they say, what they say, the expression that, that, that boys wreck your house and girls wreck your head. Um, <laughs> yeah, I know, I've heard that. <laughs> yeah, is, is, that, is it working that way in the house now? Not just yet, but what do you think? Just... I would be a little bit biased. Okay, what's your, has, is it a totally different world to have a little girl? It, it's, it, it is, there's something certainly very, very different about it, but it's, um, yeah, I she's absolutely... she's got you twist around. <laughs> yes, <laughs> that's what they do. Absolutely, uh, some of the way, way she looks at me, I love it. Yeah, it's she's a bit different, little, little, little princess. Yeah, good, well, congratulations, <laughs> it's like two years later. Um, the obvious question that everyone wants to know is how you guys met, so let's start at the beginning and maybe give us a bit of background to that. I'll let you take that, Rachel. Okay, well, you see, we first met, um, but actually, you see, he had a girlfriend, I had a boyfriend. I just thought it just, you know, that wasn't meant to be for the moment. Yes. Um, yes, <laughs> it was. Yes, I'm just. It, it, what, yeah. Um, what Isaac asked me then, you know, when I, I first, I went down to see Ballymaloo before I did the cookery course. So when I went down there and, um, and Isaac and I were chatting and, you know, when there are some sparks, and there's a bit of, there was a bit of chemistry there and he says oh so when are you going to be doing the cookery course and i said oh in january you know in a couple of months time and he said oh i'm not going to be here i'm going to be you know off sailing around the world and you know and you kind of think oh okay yeah. oh well not to worry but then in a way he he came back earlier than expected so so then yeah. our paths crossed again. That's your version. Do you want to leave the room? Isaac. <laughs> <laughs> I know this is like this Mr. Mr. and Mrs. Mrs. Yeah. But, uh, do you, is this how you recall it? Tell us your, your version of events. I don't remember having a girlfriend. Um, oh, you <laughs> do? Oh. She, I remember well, I her name. Remember. I remember what she looks like. <laughs> That's really quite typical, isn't it? Well, she's going to love this. <laughs> <laughs> she's, she's American. Okay. So she might not be watching. <laughs> <laughs> well, it doesn't matter because he doesn't remember anyway. <laughs> <laughs> it's all moot. Anyway, you were saying? It, that's pretty much what happened. Uh, I, was, I, I came home briefly from, I was working on a yacht and I was sitting around the Caribbean, yes. working very hard, and I came home <laughs> briefly um, on my way to uh, my first career as such, which was fashion photography yes. in Paris. And we did, we met briefly then, and um, I think we struck a chord. I certainly yearned for Rachel once I got to Paris, and I came home once or twice, um, I think on the second holiday. Um, that was probably the, the girlfriend was well gone at this point. Yeah. She, was, was, she was. She yeah, was yeah. gone at that stage. Um, <laughs> <laughs> um, Presuming she existed in the first place. She did. Uh, <laughs> oh no, she definitely did. Because when we, when Isaac and I first met, I'm and on, we were we were chatting in, in, <laughs> in a bar, and I didn't realise he had a girlfriend at this stage. Because we were just chatting, 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 and yeah. suddenly a girl came up and that proprietary hand on no. his thigh, or Leg. yes, her hand on his thigh, and I realised. Oh, I see. So we leave them at it? Yes. Okay, good. <laughs> so you came back and you got, to, you got to the point where you started dating her and the proposal was, Isaac, how did you go about that? Was it very romantic? Or? Okay. <laughs> uh, the, yeah, the proposal um, no. came She's about, shaking her head. about eight years later. Um, we were, child, we were, we met when we were 18, so we were courting for eight or nine years um, on the farm in Cork. Um, until, the, well, <laughs> the exact day, I'm not, a very, I'm not into sports terribly much, but I love Formula One. It's one of my favourite sports. Yes. And Ferrari would be one of my favourite teams. Okay. And anybody who's into Formula One would remember that Ferrari went through a bit of a drought in the 80s and the early 90s until the 28th Ryan of knows all about this, July <laughs> 19, 8, 1998, where they came first and second in the French Grand Prix for the first time in about 25 years. And I had... The day was perfect. So I was... <laughs> 
I was, um, I was, I was dropped home from he the pub. He thought it was romantic. <laughs> I, um, Rachel, you just be the quiet for a second. Doorstep of the house, I got down on one knee, apparently, and proposed. Do you forget that too, Isaac? It's, uh, <laughs> <laughs> I can't remember getting up again. <laughs> So, so, you're, you, so you, you, okay, so you were celebrating your, your beloved team's success and, yeah. and then he knocked on the door and you opened. Let's go back to your version. I'm intrigued now. I just said, oh. well, you're drunk. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, but I, then I said, absolutely yes. Okay. So, there was, so then wedding bells in the air. How was the wedding? We had a great time. Did you? Yeah, we had a great time. Where did, where did you have the event? And... We got married um, down in County Cork in, uh, in Cloyne Cathedral and then in Ballymaloo and we, we had a really, really lovely time. Beautiful. Really what great. time of year was it just as matter of interest? End of October. Okay, so windy. Wildy, wild, kind of blustery, windy. It was just, it was lovely. Okay, were well, you, you've got a very homely image, right? And it's, it's, it's very, you know, it's, it's, there's a lot, of, it's cupcakes and, and it's kitchen and so on. Uh, but, it's cupcakes and it's kitchen. It, no, but you know what I mean? And it's uh, deeply successful, I might say, with the books and TV shows and so on. I'm not belittling that for a moment, but did, were, you, were you bold when you were younger? Did... I, bold was a, was a, was a yes, a, a description <laughs> for me that I did hear quite a bit. And who would and, have ascribed that description to, do you think? Um, maybe some teachers, my parents, the old time. What, what, do you know what? Just giddy. Just, yeah. I, I was never really rebellious really bad but just to. kind of oh i mean just laughing too much just you know maybe going out a bit late nothing nothing very serious but um i yeah i just i probably yeah i mean the school reports often used to say okay. should you know could do better if one you know if she concentrated if she but you're was in less wild china. you weren't hanging out of chandeliers and Throwing TVs out windows and all that kind of thing. Oh, I do that now. Now, now. You've, you've, you've moved on. And I was like, what were you doing? You're, you're Rachel's business manager now, isn't that right? So, what were you doing bef that. before? I know, it's, the, funny. Be it's a strange, I suppose, to hear it, but what were you doing before that? Um, well, odds and ends, I suppose, growing up. Um, when I, I grew up in Ballymaloo, yeah. in, you know, ensconced in the whole food business. Um, so, I think initially I wanted to go off and do something else, which isn't so unusual, I think, in those circumstances. So, I was, um, I mean, as I mentioned to you, photography was my first passion of fashion photography at that point. So I did, I worked in Dublin for a year and then went off to Paris for a year until I got, I decided I couldn't stay in Paris if Rachel was going to be in Cork. So I came back to Cork. Um, fashion didn't work that well in Cork, the fashion industry at least. So I changed careers and men ended up designing and manufacturing furniture actually for three or four years until my accountant told me to cop onto myself and get sort of <laughs> <the first time. laughs> pay, attention to the, pay attention to the family business possibly. So uh, I suppose I, in about 25 or 26, mid-20s, I yeah. got back involved in the family business um, for the first time and of course discovered that I kind of, a lot of it was second nature to me um, growing up in the whole thing. So I'm um, initially running a little restaurant in the gardens of the cookery school and then I went into um, uh, the kitchens in the hotel where I, I worked. I was chef there for six, seven years. Mm, then I opened up a restaurant in Cork, which was, went very well. Yeah. I opened up another one and another one, and that didn't quite go so well. Okay. Um, so I, I had to make a decision to go one way or the other. And at the, it was at this point, I think, really, that um, Rachel was just about to film her second show. Yes. And, um, and I could see there was possibly a little bit of potential there, um, and possibly easier than running, trying to run three restaurants. Um, so we, we managed to step out of the restaurant business and pay a few bills and um, I started to see if I could help Rachel I suppose in any way with um, anything really that had to be done behind the scenes. Okay. It kind so of evolved the... quite naturally didn't it really? It, yeah, yeah. I was meanwhile you know going to meetings and saying oh those people were lovely so I signed on the dotted line yes. you know and Isaac would say no 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 hang on hang on Rachel you know just have you read the small print you know let, let's take this contract to our sister and have a look at it and let, yes. you know maybe we should think about an agent and I was kind of what are you talking about no 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 you know they, they like they like my cakes. They, they like the they so, like yeah. the lips that you come on. Let's, but um, so he was the kind of the, the, he's, the, he's more the, the numbers and the, the, the business. business end of things, and you're the, the the kind of everything's fine. Well, enjoying the food and everything's yeah. fine. I suppose. And do yeah, you do you, do you work well together? Do, I mean, it's one thing, obviously, your, your family mm -hmm. and everything's great. But do you, do you find sometimes as, as in a business collaboration? Can it get a little bit? Never. Never. Wow. Okay. <laughs> no. Really? But you are human, aren't you? As long as she does what she's told. It's fine. <laughs> yeah, as long as he does what no, he's told. We, 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 we work in two very different parts of the business, if you okay, know what I mean. Yeah. It is Rachel's business. And at that's the... not what you said the other day. <laughs> <laughs> what did you say the other day, Isaac? Uh, that's exactly what I said the other day. <laughs> um, what did he say the other day? Oh, that's exactly what he said the other day. <laughs>
<laughs> I'm getting a picture of how this works now, so that's good. See, we're probably both a bit stubborn. I never realised I was stubborn, but yeah, but you know, I think right. we work well together. <laughs> How's it going in America, by the way? Are things taking off there for you? It's been good. It's, it's been great. good. Because I know the UK is going really it's been, well. It's yeah. been great. Thank goodness. Yeah. Um, I was over there recently cooking, cooking breakfast for um, TV, uh, for American um, programmers. Yeah. Um, trying to, you know, encourage them to buy, buy another show. And um, it's, been, it's been really great. Because the, the entertaining at home uh, ser series and book and so on, is that... You, 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 you tend to think a lot of the pe people are in, in the same business as you are are kind of we have one eye on the recession and trying to you know make things a little more back to basics and homely. Are you, are you yes. finding that? Is that a bit of a cliche at this stage, or is it? Is it? Is there I think a fact? it might be in ways. I don't know. It's the, you know exactly how it's doing. I never would numbers wise. But know, I just mean in terms of what you're you know, what you're suggesting people do. I mean, you're, you know, you're not yeah. going for the elaborate. No, that, I'm not. That, that, I, I, I never really do go for hugely elaborate. But I think. Um, you don't really want to sit and watch something that's talking about cheap, cheap, cheap cuts, you know, the whole time. Yes. I think there has to be something that's enjoyable and, look, let's face it, you know, quarter pound of flour and a couple of ounces of butter and a bit of sugar isn't going to cost that much. Everyone can, can make something lovely, you know, if they have a little bit of time. I think, you know, from the, the time poor cash rich, we've kind of gone the, the other, other way. way around, so I think, so. you know, but we, we can all... Okay, what are you, what's the Christmas uh, agenda now, Isaac? Is it uh, home? Well, it, it's um, Christmas in Ballymaloo. Yes. Um, we, Rachel especially travels an awful lot throughout the year, so we've, we're, after next week it begins to slow down. We've got um, Rachel's parents and her sister-in-law and their children are going to come down. We'll, sister and brother-in-law, yeah, they're all coming. So no the, plans, the minibus has been... They're all going to come down, down, I know. Down. <laughs> yeah, I just Moving love in Ballymaloo, Christmas, the hotel I'm so excited. Down. Okay, so it becomes more of a... Gathering of the yeah. comes a family home again. Okay. You know, we all lump in together, about 50 of us. Eating too much. And fight over the spreads. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I'm hungry just listening. Uh, listen, Lots congratulations on everything going on for you, for you. And thanks for coming in to see us, Isaac. I know that's probably a difficult but, one for you, but you, you, it's good to see you. <laughs> he said I prefer to be the Aegis in the background. <laughs> ah, okay, well, listen, continued success. Rachel and Isaac Allen, there you go. Thank you. Thank you very much. Thanks. Thank you. Well, then.